Today I'm here in Gallery 14 at Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery, which is the gallery dedicated to the work of Edward Byrne-Jones. Byrne-Jones was a Victorian artist. He was born here in Birmingham in 1833, and he's probably the most famous artist to come out of the city. Here at Birmingham we have the largest collection of his works anywhere in the world. It numbers about 1,300 objects, and it seems appropriate that he has his own gallery, uh, which shows a selection from that collection. And it covers quite a wide range of the work that Byrne-Jones produced. So uh, oil paintings, uh, works on paper, designs for stained glass, and also furniture for which Byrne-Jones designed the decoration. The room is dominated by one work. It's this enormous watercolour, The Star of Bethlehem, which Byrne-Jones painted for this museum between 1887 and 1891. The subject is taken from the Bible. It shows the Holy Family, Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus in the stable at Bethlehem being visited by the three kings. On the left-hand side of the composition, you can see Mary and Joseph. Uh, Mary sitting there under a canopy with the baby Jesus on her lap. And on the extreme left, Joseph, who's been chopping wood. You can see the axe on the ground by his feet, and he's holding a bundle of sticks. On the right-hand side are the three kings who are approaching towards the stable. Byrne-Jones emphasises the humanity and the vulnerability of the baby Jesus. He's very tiny, he's naked, and he seems quite overawed, almost quite frightened uh, by these three strange, uh, very elaborately dressed figures who are kind of looming towards him. Um, he's almost clinging hold of his, his mother for support and, and for reassurance. Byrne-Jones in many ways follows the conventions for depicting this story in art over the previous 500 or so years. He shows the, the three wise men uh, as kings, which very often happens in art, and he shows them as being of different races. This is a convention um, that's quite traditional in Western art to suggest the idea of Christianity spreading to all of the four corners of the globe. Burne Jones shows these three kings as very elaborately dressed. The first king is dressed in a really beautiful robe of shot silk, uh, decorated at the hem with images of St. George and the dragon. The second king is dressed as a soldier, uh, with metal surcoat, with roundels on it decorated with mythological figures. And the third king, the African king, is wearing a robe decorated with a medieval ship and with fanciful dancing figures, sort of dancing angels, round the hem uh, of the robe there. And they approach with their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. The first king has actually laid his crown on the ground and it's a suggestion of earthly power, earthly kingship, kind of giving way before a new kind of kingship, the kind of heavenly kingship represented uh, by the baby Jesus there. Burne Jones also introduces his own kind of very special, very individual touch to the composition. Um, the star of Bethlehem in the story in the Bible is the star that led the three magi, the three kings, to the stable in Bethlehem to find the child Jesus. But Burne Jones, instead of showing the star as a literal star, represents it as a light held in the hands of an angel who's hovering in the middle of the composition there. Bone Jones also adds another uh, particular touch, which is the little white flowers that you can see uh, around the bottom of the composition, and particularly around the feet of the Virgin Mary there. This is a type of flower called Prussian asparagus, and it's sometimes known commonly as Star of Bethlehem. So that underlines the whole idea and theme of this composition here. So this is a work which Burne Jones produced as a commission for this museum. It was a way of his work being represented in this collection uh, permanently. It was a way of him kind of leaving a mark on the collection here. And it's a painting that continues to dominate our pre-Raphaelite galleries and to be at the heart of our Burne Jones collection here in Birmingham.